What's up, coffee drinkers? I'm Luke. And I'm Chad. And we are the Coffee Nerds. We'll try out a coffee, let you know what we think, and close with some awesome trivia. So every year, Good Friday precedes Easter. We know it is traditionally the day Jesus was crucified, but why is it called good? We'll delve into that mystery in just a few minutes. Uh, today, we've got, what are we drinking? Ikea. Ikea coffee. Ikea coffee. Trying out their organic dark roast. Yes. That is good. It's not too bad. Yeah. I like it. Give me a thumbs up. Right off the bat. I'm chewing on mine. Um, it's actually pretty smooth. I yeah. like how smooth it is. That's what I was thinking too. Very smooth, almost chocolatey. I got a little bit of a chocolate finish, I would say. Got a little bit of a bitterness at the end. Yeah, smooth and chocolatey. I I like it. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty darn good. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. A, a plus Ikea. Yes. Make her furniture and coffee. Yeah. This is the second time we've tried one of their coffees. We also tried the espresso. The espresso. Oh my gosh. The espresso roast. Um, and... I think we were fans of that one as well. So Ikea's two for two. Yes, very enjoyable. Before there's Easter, where Christians everywhere celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, there's Good Friday, the day we remember the terrible day he was crucified. Why is such a dark time called good? There's a few theories on the origin. One is that the day was originally called God's Friday. Another, and this is the one I would bet on, is that the word good is being used in the sense of a holy goodness, as in Holy Friday. But not everyone calls it good. In Germany, the day is known as Car, car, frit, car, frit hack. Fritak. Car fritak, which means sorrowful, sorrowful Friday. Other names for Good Friday include Great Friday, Black Friday, Crucified Friday, and the Long Friday. Yeah, the original Black Friday. Yeah, so, right. While the historical calendar would seem to place Jesus' death on April 6th or 7th, traditionally Easter and Good Friday are paired with Passover, which can move from year to year. So that's why Easter and Good Friday always move. A, a, a special week, all the days before Easter are named Palm Sunday, Holy Monday, Holy Tuesday, Spy Wednesday, Maundy Thursday, then Good Friday and Holy Saturday. Spy Wednesday is named for Judas' betrayal of, Jida, of Jesus. Maundy Thursday commemorates the Last Supper and the washing of the disciples' feet. The names come from the Latin word for commandment, as in a new commandment I give you. Uh, yeah, so whatever your beliefs, we hope you have a good, good Friday as we remember the death of our Savior. Sweet. Yeah, I didn't know every day had a, had a name like that, and I thought that was cool. Each day traditionally covers like a different aspect of what Jesus was doing, like before um, everything went down. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, this has been Coffee Nerds. We'll see you next week. Try out some Ikea and let us know what you think. Yeah. Good stuff. Yes. Hit the, there's a bell down there. Hit subscribe.
ring the bell, all that good stuff. It's your pal, Copy the Cup. Thanks for checking out this week's episode of Coffee Nerds. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks. Bye. I love you.